Sarah Merzer, uh, just coming off yet another amazing performance here at the Salt Lake City NAC. Sarah, uh, tell us a little bit about your weekend. It was crazy. It was full of like so many intense bouts. And uh, tell us a little bit about, about the bouts. Uh, which bouts did you feel were most intense? Um, well, my, my bouts going to top four today with Lena Johnson was so close and my nerves were all over the place. <laughs> and and today, today was the junior event. Um, how, how did you feel coming into the junior event after having such an amazing Div 1 event on Friday? Oh, well, after Div 1, my muscles were all like so like, dead. So coming to today, I just wanted to get through and do as best as I could. And how did you spend yesterday to prepare yourself for today? Basically relaxing. I came here to cheer on a few of my teammates and just relax in the hotel. So coming into the today's junior event, what were your expectations or or what was your mentality uh, in approaching your, your competitors? I just wanted to use actions and do everything I possibly could. And uh, you know, you had, uh, you, you had a rematch with uh, Adrian Jaroki. Uh, yeah. what, what were you thinking when you, you found out that you guys were gonna have a rematch in the final? Honestly, I was happy. <laughs> like, she's such an amazing like, person. In fact, she's one of my friends. So if I see her again, it was just fun. And uh, after, after falling to her in the, the Div 1 event on Friday, uh, what were you hoping to, to do differently to, you know, to come, a, come out ahead in, in today's junior event? Honestly, I just wanted to, I don't really know, like, <laughs> I just wanted to do, use my actions and just do whatever I could possibly. All right, and uh, stepping back to, to the senior event, um, you had an amazing performance, you, you, uh, you came in second, and uh, you beat a lot of current and former world team members in the process. Uh, tell us a little bit about your road to the finals. It was such an honor, like fencing people like Sage and definitely Ibtihaj Muhammad. Like she's, I've looked up to her since I was a kid. So fencing her was just unbelievable. What What was so unbelievable about uh, being able to compete against role models that you've respected for so long? Because like I just never thought anything like that would happen to me, honestly. So getting that chance is like a dream come true. You, you know, you've made it when when uh, you're you're competing against and beating your your heroes, right? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, to that effect, you, you also um, had a better result than your sister. Tell us a little bit about the, uh, the sibling dynamic between the two of you. There's surprisingly like, no, nothing wrong with it. Like, she's my biggest supporter. She'd do, like, she'd do anything for me. She was more happy for me than I was for myself. That's great to hear. Now, uh, when do you fly out? When do you return uh, out east? Uh, our flight is tomorrow morning. Okay, so coming off a big weekend like this, you mentioned the fatigue. How do you plan to recover, or what will you do for the next week? Honestly, I just want to just lie down on my couch and just do nothing. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, uh, congratulations again today, and uh, what can we expect uh, out of you for the next, uh, the next month or so? What, what's next for your competition schedule? Um, I have France in about a week, a oh, Junior World Cup. So hopefully we'll get some good result there. And with such a short turnaround between uh, a really physically demanding weekend here and, and between France, what will you do between now and, and then to prepare? Just the same thing, training with my coach back home. All right, well, best <laughs> of luck to you. Uh, safe travels and, uh, and uh, look forward to, to following you in action. Thank you. <laughs>